In this video, I am going to share the answer to a question related to gravitational effect of the earth and the growth of trees and plants. Long times ago, this question was asked by a person in a gathering where we were discussing the motion of planets and their gravitational effects. The person asked, if the earth attracts everything towards itself, why do the trees then grow right up against gravity? To be honest, I was quite answerless at that time. You may probably know the answer, but then I didn't. However, I got interested to know why is it so. With a little search, I came to know that this was in fact a question that was partially answered in a genius experiment back in 1806 by Thomas Andrew Knight, a British horticulturalist and botanist. But before coming to the night experiment, we should know a little about gravitropism, also known as geotropism, a fundamental concept in botany. I myself totally blank in this field and may not be pronouncing the terminology correctly, but would try to understand the physical reason behind defying gravity effect of trees. Gravitropism can be positive means in the direction of gravity or negative means opposite to the direction of gravity. Charles Darwin was the first to notice this phenomena, however, he couldn't explain it. In fact, trees and plants are cute with cells that can sense the direction of gravity and these cells stimulate the production of auxin. Where oxen is a kind of hormone that along with other function controls which side the cell elongate during the growth of plants and trees. The production of auxin and trunks in roots of trees are at the opposite tip of the cell and therefore results in the growth against gravity in trunks and in the direction of gravity in roots. So the source of force in trees and plants that defeat the earth gravity is the hormone known as auxin. Now let's turn to the interesting experiment of Thomas Andrew Knight. He sowed seed and attached the container at various angles to the rim of vertical wheel which was driven by a stream in his garden to revolve continuously at a rate of 150 rpm. As the germinated plant grew, each shoot was directed towards the center of the wheel. When the shoot passed the center of the wheel, a tip turned back so that the growth was still centipetal. The roots grew away from the center. Next, he set up a similar structure with the wheel horizontal and rotating at 250 RPM so that the ceiling were influenced by both the gravitational force of the earth and the centipetal force simultaneously. In this case, the growth was at an angle of 80 degrees to the vertical. The shoot upward and inward and the roots downward and outward. Reducing the rotation to 80 rpm decreased the centipetal force to such an extent that the plants grew at an angle of 45 degrees to the vertical. In fact, through this experiment, Thomas Knight was able to fool practically the plants through the artificial gravity arose from their circular motion on the wheel. 